Aloha, this is Harry from Kailua. Let's uh, work some more with Slacky. I'm going to give you the framework of which you can practice all your licks with. Okay, so we're in open G tuning. So G in standard tuning used to be here, but now it's here because we, on these strings, it got tuned down too. So this sounds just like the original G, but now we have this G, this G, this G, because the whole thing is G. So for today, we're just going to use these five strings. Okay. For the D7 chord, it used to be here. This string gets affected because it was tuned down too, so I'm going to move it up too to make it sound exactly the same. But let's make it easier today. If I remove the baby finger, this is already tuned to the letter D. So we get to use the same four, but I'm going to add this sixth string. Okay. So for today, we're going to use everything ex except the fifth string. Okay. Now, um, let's do a close-up and then I'll give you the framework. Okay, that's an example of what we're trying to get to with our framework that I'm going to show you today. This is to apply all the licks that I've shown you uh, earlier and some more, well, I will add some more. Um, this is a very Hawaiian chord progression. Uh, it's got 10 measures. So look at the screen and you're going to notice there's four measures of G. It's one, two, three, four, then two measures of D7. And then I'll call this vamp number one and vamp number two. And it starts all over again. So this is a, a rhythm that actually comes from the rhythm of the Hawaiian chants. Because, um, let's see, before, before string instruments arrived to Hawaii, um, you know, uh, the, the Hawaiians chanted. So here's an example. I'm, uh, there's a chant called Hilave, which became a famous slack key song in the early, early days. Uh, it, it would be just, you know, a, without a string instrument, it would be with, with a percussion. And it was a chant song like Kumaka Kai Kenaya Hilave, you know. But then as the missionaries came and, and brought over uh, church hymns for the Hawaiians to sing, and also as different immigrants arrived to uh, Hawaii, um, Hawaiians began to sing along with string instruments. So the early Hawaiian slack key songs are basically chants turned into songs. So here's an example. So I'll just sing the words of Hilave to this chord progression. So it'll be like, I'll just start with the vamp section. Kumaka kai kenaya hilave So this isn't the only chord progression in um, early slack key, but uh, this is a very common one. So around this framework, I'm going to uh, allow you to uh, work your uh, different things. So the G section, uh, things that I had shown you before, that would be the four measures. Then you can do things in a D7. And then here's the first Hawaiian vamp. And then the second Hawaiian vamp. So now you have a framework of uh, how you want to apply this. So for the Hawaiian slack key, we got the, this is just what you want to memorize. Four Gs and two D7s and D7 to G and D7 to G. But here's a side note. If you want to go back and maybe watch the alphabet of music and maybe the balls of information where I taught how to uh, multitask, you can use the same ideas um, in this tuning. So if this is tuned to a G chord, G, G sharp, this is A. So you can use this for your blues. If this is an A chord on the second fret, then you got A, B, C, C sharp, D. So D would be now on the seventh fret and E would be on the ninth fret. So you can practice like this and practice blues. So here's your uh, for blues, you got 12 bars. So you got A, 2, 3, 4, A, 2, 3, 4. You can fancy up 2, 3, 4. Then two measures of D. 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, A, 2, 3, 4, A, 2, 3, E, D, 2, 3, 4, A, 2, 3, 4, E. Okay, 
So you can play blues even in this tuning. Now the scale that I'd used earlier um, in the earlier videos, the A minor pentatonic scale in standard tuning would have been here. But these three strings were affected by us tuning two frets lower. So now if you want to play the A minor pentatonic in this tuning, it would be here for one, four, one. Then these three strings are the same. And then this one you have to go. So you can still play. So, you know, you can even have more fun if you want to just use the um, different, let's, let's change the 12 bar blues to the key of G. So A, A flat, G. So G will be open, then the D would be now C, and the E would be D. And you can play with a slide and go, okay, G, which is 12th fret. So you got four measures of G, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G. And you got C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, C, G. So this G tuning, is used by, say, Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones in blues, because he learned it probably from, inspired from watching blues players like Muddy Waters. So slack key is not the tuning, it's the method. You know, you can make it sound bluesy. Or you can make it sound Hawaiian. So it's not what tuning, it's how you play the tuning to make it sound Hawaiian. So just have fun. Just more things to think about. <laughs>